So the homie just did this song, right? Pissed the gang of people off. Everybody was mad at it. So we, uh, when the song came out, he was overseas. Then he came back to the States. First place we stopped in was New York City. And the first thing we do is say, let's go to the club because we wanted to check the temperature, see what everybody was on. Yeah. <laughs> LA stuff. Yeah, yeah. Pat yeah. <laughs> downs. Yeah. So we get to the club. So one of the homies approached us and talking about this particular record. So we're going back and forth. Oh, it's not personal. It's just this, this, and that. It's cool, whatever, whatever. It's like if we playing basketball, I'm going to try to beat you. You're trying to beat me, and yeah, we we yeah. good after it. Like, yeah, okay, cool. A friendly fade. Friendly fade, if you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> yes. Another one of the homies walk up. He a little drunk. He said, yeah, y'all niggas, y'all need to uh, just go back and forth and keep it on wax or whatever, whatever, whatever. So the two dudes who approach, they get into a little back and forth, a little argument. With each other? With each other now. Okay. Because we didn't, what we didn't know is they had gotten an argument before we got there. <laughs> so they was kind of continuing it. So, okay, things settled and we go to the VIP. So in this VIP section is literally the front roll of the Grammys. <laughs> in this one section yeah and it's four of us we in there like we we in there fans almost like yo that's yeah so 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 so, so. the homie that got into it with the other one he's sitting two steps down from me on, on the couch so it's somebody right here I'm right here the rest of us and then so the nigga came back to him. The ones who got an altercation early, he's like, yeah. And if you ever say what you said to me earlier, then God, and he grabbed a, a bottle from the uh, table because he got all of the alcohol choice. And he said, what you going to do? Hit me over my head with a bottle? He's like, nah, I'm going to break it on the table. I'm going to cut your throat. <laughs> so it's like a movie. Right. <laughs> like, ooh. So it's getting right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. getting tense. So the nigga standing on the ground, reached up and tried to grab dude by the by the neck. So dude reached around and fired on him, and they both fell on the table, knocking all the drinks over. So all these celebrities just in this one spot. It's a scuffle now, huge scuffle. So oh, this just sound weird with no names, but. Another nigga came who was best friends with one of the Shit. super celebrities that was over there. He came and started beating up one of the niggas that was on the ground. So it's kind of clearing up and he grabbed the nigga, pulled him close and seen who it was. And this dude was signed to his, <laughs> his homie. <laughs> but he couldn't see. He, he didn't see. He had his glasses on. So he mopping him and oh, looked shit. like he felt so bad after the whole thing. He was signed to him? He was signed to this dude who was, who was going at him, yeah. his partner. His partner came and jumped in. Because <laughs> he thought he was, they was going at his man. Yeah. So whole scuffle break down. They get them out the club. A table was back set up in like less than 60 seconds. <laughs> like it never happened. Like it never <laughs> happened, bro. Mop that up. But the ratio from celebrity to regular person was like 70, 30, maybe. So every section was like full of celebrities. Yeah. You know what I mean? Music people, movie people, whatever. I think it's like, it's like it never it existed. But it's, <laughs> They were prepared for that. Oh, man. That had happened in there before. That was my, that was my favorite, like, night music. A little dust up. A little dust up. <laughs> right.
Keep the party going. That's what a song can do. Yeah, <laughs> right. It, it can create a little dust up. Song can create. <laughs> oh my goodness. It can create a little dust up. It absolutely can. But apparently they ain't want no problem with y'all. Oh no, it was good money. Yeah, yeah. So let me focus back on yeah. you, nigga. <laughs> and what's funny, I've been looking for you. You've been look, you heard what I said earlier. <laughs> what's funny is the dude, the big dude that was in the thing. As soon as it was over, he looked at me and pointed. He was like, look, he like every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, man. <laughs> I've seen some of this shit, <laughs> type of shit before. It don't bother me. Oh, we man. came here to shake the temperature. Right. Dude, yeah. This is what it is. This is what it is, yeah. Oh, man, that was a fun night. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got punched from TDE on Tank's R&B Money podcast. And during a segment called I Ain't Saying No Names, he has to tell a story where he can't say no names. And previously, J. Cole put out a song called Let My Hand Go featuring Boss and Black, where Cole Dress is getting into a scuffle with Diddy. And you know, Diddy can be heard talking on the outro. So basically, when Kendrick Lamar was out the country, he had dropped control with Big Sean. And when he came back to the States, they went to a club in New York City. That's where they saw J. Cole and Diddy at. And Cohen Diddy asked them about the record and said it was all love, basically. And Diddy was already drunk at the time. And you can see Punch mentions prior to them getting there that Diddy had already gotten into an argument with J. Cole that night. And, you know, many people speculated that it was over the control verse, but, you know, Punch didn't really clarify that. And Diddy thought Cole was soft and he was just going to grab him up by the neck. And, you know, Cole was like, nah, we ain't doing that. You know, that's when he let his hands go. And, you know, from there, the story got out that Cole and Diddy got into a fight. And despite all the jokes people made towards Cole during the whole Kendrick Lamar beef, you know, for apologizing, Cole is the only person, as far as I know, that we have full-fledged evidence of putting hands on Diddy. And we all know that how Diddy gets down and how he can be. So I'm not too surprised that this all happened because Diddy was drunk and, you know, decided to do something extra. And, you know, later on in the story, he talks about Diddy threatening him with the bottle, slicing his throat and all that. And recently, Diddy's been spotted in Harlem. He's definitely been showing his face a lot more in public. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with his charges. I do know that Don Richards from Dirty Money uh, hit him with a lawsuit claiming physical and sexual abuse. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Y'all think that Punch is keeping it 100 or you think he might be capping a little bit? Let me know. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.